hospital, you realize that there's a lot more things for you to be grateful for, thankful for. There's a lot of truth being illuminated when it comes to just being positive overall, taking on this more positive stance and allowing yourself to um, allow your inner child to uh, grow. I mean, um, your, your childlike imagination here because there still will be success in 2022 overall. It's just that it's going to come in a way that you weren't not, um, you had not, that you don't think right? Because you may have had your hopes and your dreams and your wishes on something um, happening in your favor. It doesn't happen in your favor, but then you realize the beauty of life overall. You thought this thing, oh, it can make everything so complete and this and that, right? And now you realize you were romanticizing it like a Libra, the justice card in reverse, an unbalanced Libra, romanticizing and knowing that bitch, you got five motherfucking days to shine and be in love, infatuated, and now let's get it together. So you are realizing that, no, that ain't what it is. This is what it is. This is what life is about. Um, there's going to be a lot of fast-paced change with this eight of wands. There's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of travel, a lot of um, moving and grooving. So I really feel like in 20, all right, let's slow down. In 2022, uh, there's going to be a lot of places to go and people to see. A lot of things getting done that may not be as financially rewarding, but I feel like your spirit is going to be on a whole other level when it comes to this. I feel like Taurians, of course, um, within this past two years, Taurus, there was huge, heavy, okay, I was right there with y'all now, remember? all right, thank you. There was some huge, heavy soul healing a lot of graduating and elevation spiritually, a lot of growth and expansion, spiritual expansion. So now it's time for you to enjoy yourself. Things didn't happen how you wanted them to in one space, but then you realize in 2022 that no, I've been aligning with that eight of, with that eight of wands. You realize your spiritual limitations. You realize that you realize what your limits are and may create new limits, right? Um, you realize what your old rules were and you create new rules here. Ain't no delays. Things start happening fast. I even feel like with this eight, um, that's where a lot of the karmic um, reward that you didn't, I, I don't think that whatever this is that has come through, like you got your mindset on something happening here, justice prevailing in this space. The eight of wands is justice on a whole other level. This is spiritual reward. This is being able to communicate your wants, desires, and what have you, and they come through rapidly. This is your connection with communicating with the, um, the um, we're gonna say spirit, okay? This is your ability to make things happen quickly. As long as you are continuously in alignment, things start happening fast for you. This is a lot of movement. This is a lot of action in 2022. Okay, what will be the impact if they learn the lesson? What will be the impact if they learn the motherfucking lesson? Temperance in reverse, the hangman in reverse. I flip these cards, y'all, but I'm not gonna put them out the same way because this is a year uh conversation, a yearly conversation. So the impact of the lesson that you will learn will be that excess you're going to learn about excess right because now you have all this change coming in you are real aligning realigning getting what it is that you want how you want you got life going on your way but the impact of that is going to be imbalanced in certain areas of your life it's the same as if, okay you're doing a lot of traveling right you're going to all these places you get a souvenir i get small souvenirs I feel like some of y'all gonna be getting big ass souvenirs, probably a whole new thing of luggage being imported in here. I don't know, maybe some luxury cars, whatever it is. It's like you're learning that to balance when you have all of this good stuff happening or all these things coming in for you. You're learning how to balance it out, but also overextending, you know, um, with spiritual, uh, with energy here. What we learn is that um, too much of anything can kill you bitch okay so uh, i believe it's neurologically i always look at the um that as like just electricity running through the body right i believe that there's some information about that out on the internet and books and stuff but um there may be so much energy and you being able to wield so much energy and do so many things that it may cause some issues so you want to make sure that you align 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 so that 
this imp- this won't impact you. It'll, it'll be a soft blow, right? You're just, as soon as something happens, boom, you realign. Uh, with this hangman in reverse, you are learning that um, stalling, if you stall out, if you don't take opportunities that are presented to you, or, or if you do things in a selfish manner moving forward because of something that was wrong, remember, you are receiving a lot of karma, but what you do with what you are receiving will determine the karma that you will be creating in the future. So you want to be mindful of that. So that's the impact that it's going to have instead of taking time out to see um, what needs to be sacrificed, what needs to be cleared out, what needs to, um, is this the right decision? Is this, Am I doing this for the, the right thing for the right reason? Or am I just learning this and um, realizing this and just out here, just, you know, doing whatever I want and however I want. Uh, you'll be mindful of your ego, the way that you discuss things, the way that you communicate with people, the things that you do for people, because this can be creating, you may even be creating a relationship during this time that was only supposed to be short-lived and you end up being stuck with someone for quite some time who was not supposed to be around you this long and it may be very draining for you if you take it too far so you use your discernment on that please and then you have a star in reverse so this is um lack of faith um not healing or uh, being elevated or exalted in a way that you are really helping other people so this is going to be the impact of that lesson right this is going to be spaces where you really will have to take a closer look at yourself and not get in the space of despair. Because there may be moments, especially if you may be bipolar or, or suffer with some type of bipolar or some type of moodiness, because it may not even be bipolar because bipolar is so much more than just moodiness. So it may be just this moody thing that you, this moody pattern that you have that puts you in a space of everything is going good. Now you start thinking about stuff that ain't going good. So you have to be really, really mindful of how you are maneuvering, how you are communicating with yourself throughout this year. Because I really feel like in order for you to get this renewal, you're going to really have to and enjoy this time that is coming up. Because of course, it's an ebb and flow. It's going to be very important that you not move into this space of despair. Right? What challenges will arise as a result? of the yearly cards what challenges will arise and the pinnacles shit. and the pinnacles in reverse the moon in reverse and death okay now the challenges that will arise ten of pinnacles the dark side of wealth i'm telling you if you are not go ahead and be mindful so you can just get a soft blow on this right um you may lose all of this and then the year the, the year coming up after this may be kind of interesting for you. So you want to go ahead and set the foundation for what it is that all of the fun you are having, all of the abundance that is going on, all of the prosperity, you are fertile. Uh, please do not go out here and get a bunch of women pregnant. Thank you, ladies. Please close your lids because you might have triplets, bitch. Somebody is very fertile. Okay. Now, the dark side of wealth with this 10 of pentacles. Um, this is where you are realizing that everything that glitters is not gold on a whole other level. This is where you are realizing that um, you are different. You try to do things in a way where you were sharing information and sharing wealth, but being the black sheep, like the 10 of Pentacles in reverse is like the black sheep of the family, right? And it's like, um, now you are realizing that you were celebrating or maybe it's that relationship too though you were celebrating or doing things and now you are realizing that there may be an, um too much you you diabetes runs in your family you began to you can have all the snacks uh, that you want and you were overdoing it that's the dark side right addictions um just buying up shit and not looking at the consequences of it like if you're gonna spend all your money to buy all these properties you know these properties gonna need, have taxes coming up so how are you making sure that your money is making money that type of thing uh with this moon um but use your discernment when it comes to that dark side of wealth as well though because this can come up this can show up and manifest in many ways a lot of times before we get that uh something big happen it's small things that come in to 
challenge us the small things that come in to show us like okay because you got to know your number do things happen in fours do things happen in fives do things happen in sevens when it comes to your challenges when it comes to your test because you know it can be something as small as like even with this relationship that I'm picking up with this that's supposed to only be a situationship it's only for a short time right it can easily be that you meet one person online and you talk to them a little bit and you're just like, oh, that bitch, nah, that guy, nah, that that person is more, um, they're superficial. They're just all about money. You meet a second person and they don't come right off as being all about money, but they got on designer everything, right? And it's like, oh, damn. So you're reading the book based on the cover and it's like, uh, no, thank you. A third person comes in, has none of the... Um, triggers that would trigger you into thinking that this person ain't shit everything looks good they know the right things to say and what have you however there's a few red flags right um and you look over those red flags and now you are in it see so if you pick up the small um what they what they what they send to you first uh you will be able to realize and recognize that, you know, I, I got to stay on guard because the moment you let your guard down is when, boom, you're taken advantage of, boom, um, you allow someone into your life that's hard to get out your life. Because I really feel like this person is going to be hard to get out of your life. And that goes along the lines with this death card, right? Um, this is going to be hard for you to do. Making this transition from this uh, moon in reverse, right? Making this transition from trying to hide things for yourself like a lot of your deepest darkest secrets are coming up a lot of the things that you really need to look at like the dark side of this you really need to pay attention to this it's not going to go away it's just going to cause more problems for you in the future so you want to be very mindful of that allow things to end um, be open to change allow yourself to go through this rebirth because you're going through a whole other rebirth in uh, 2023 however how you deal in 2022 is going to have a huge impact on and i feel like it's going to be before your birthday where this is going to begin to happen you're going to begin to see your year ahead right and you can make plans accordingly all right now um how can taurus thrive in 2022 how can they thrive queen of cups and the seven of cups in reverse and one more what will they learn about themselves? Okay, they talking, y'all. What will they learn about themselves? Okay, so how can they thrive? How can Taurus thrive in 2022? Um, they can be more emotionally stable. Stop just, you know, because, um, you know, there's a such thing as emotional spending. There's a such thing as um, emotional conversations. There's a such thing as um, emotional sex. All that, okay? You want to get in your head uh, get in your head and get out your body right there, okay? They want you to be more compassionate, but also um, have limits on that compassion. Uh, use your intuition here. Uh, balance out that feminine energy, right? So that you won't just be out here over giving. You won't be doing things outside of divine order with that eight of wands that came in very, very strong spiritual influence, right? Very much powerful. That's a lot of power, okay? Power in the workforce, power in um, the way you pray, the way that you meditate. There's a lot of power in um, how you telepathically communicate with people, so on and so forth. Again, be mindful. Uh, with that telepathic communication because sometimes you don't know that you're doing it as uh, deeply as you will be in 2022 and especially when it comes to you manifesting uh, someone that you just want for a little time not a long time that's again it goes to debt okay um another way that you can thrive with the seven of cups in reverse um this is like um don't disregard your personal values because that's what the seven of cups in reverse is saying that you're not in alignment with your assignment you're not paying attention to things you're under the illusion or the impression that everything is what it's going to be and how it's going to be and then you stand it for what it is like no you are allowing yourself yourself to um be in a space where you're not assessing um a situation for what it is or things for what they are like oh that's so that's so pretty that's the only thing that'll that's life-changing or this person is just, they're there, everything that I want them to be. And it's just like, no, you're not in alignment. 
you just supposed to be fucking with them like that right there. They just supposed to go kick it with you for a little while right there. They were just supposed to be a little party thing. It's part of your dating game, okay? So you want to be mindful of that because I really feel like in order for you to thrive, you're going to need to be on top of your personal values. Um, you're going to have to be on top of what's uh, what is actually a decision that you need to make, what is actually a choice and what is not even in there. It's not on the Scantron. Okay. It's not there. It's not an option. So why am I making this an option? Why am I being so overwhelmed with all these decisions to make? And a lot of these decisions, they got shit to do with you. This is a play on the mental. This is a play on how you um, are out in this world. Okay. Now, how um, this says, uh, what will I learn about myself? So what will Taurus learn about themselves. You got the four of wands, five of wands, and the nine of pentacles in reverse. With this four of wands um, in the upright here, you will learn to relax even in the midst of so many things going on. Because I really feel like Taurus is going to be a uh, more passionate about life they're going to come on, come to life more so than not and be more passionate, especially with that sun card, that Leo card showing up with just big, bold, confident, confident, and just really um, digging into uh, the astral realms and pulling stuff out really, really quick at the blink of an eye, like not even knowing what it is that you are pulling out, but it connects and it feels good, right? So with this, um, what you will learn personally, learning to celebrate, right learn to do things in a certain way here but you'll also learn that with that death card and this four of uh wands here that's the four of wands i don't know if i said four of cups or not but with this four of wands it's like you are celebrating the new you you are celebrating you know all the ups and downs that may have happened in 2022 but also you are realizing that with this five of wands that there is no competition. You are your only competition. There was no need for you to go back and forth with yourself about certain things that you solely had to make a decision about. You're learning how to deal with tension. You're learning how to deal with diversity, um, whether it's coming, um, whether it's inside of you or outside here. Um, I feel like it's outside, uh, outside more so than not. Um, there's also uh, you being able to manage and handle any type of conflict that may come up because whatever, again, whatever it is that you are learning in 2022 is going to be very valuable in 2023, especially when it comes to um, how much, how generous you are and who you're generous with and how long, you know, and, re and recognizing if someone is really in your life for a season um, or a lifetime. This is a huge uh, deal for you. The Nine of Pentacles, you're learning to... Um, this nine of pentacles in reverse, you're learning to be more frugal, um, but also this has a lot to do with um, the, um, going back and forth. Like if you receive a lot of money next year, it may have to do with um, maybe no one in your family has received that much abundance. I mean, that much money um, or whatever it is, right? You, you receive a lot of something. And if you um, do not u utilize it um, in, in a strategic manner, what will happen is uh, it takes you back into that hustling mentality. It takes you back into that Robin Peter to pay Paul. It, whatever it is, right? Um, it takes you back into that space of um, feeling like you don't have enough, you're not good enough. You know, that was just a blessing. That, that was a passing blessing. Not, like, no, whatever is coming up for you in 2022 is going to set the foundation for 2023, right? So you want to be mindful of that. All right, Taurus. Oh, yeah.